Police searching for the driver involved in a deadly hit and run. New video shows the moment of the crash. You can see a man riding a bike across the intersection. Then a black infinity comes speeding down the street and it hits him. Police have identified the victim as Dmitry Pultolov of Oakland. He was biking with his two children at the time of the accident. This all happened at the intersection of 14th and Jefferson Streets near City Hall. KPX 5's Juliet Goodridge reports. It's just devastating, you know, because the two boys, thank God they're alive and they're okay, but just to sit there and watch their dad lay in the street is just a, uh, just a heartbreaking story. This is video of the fatal hit and run. Amani Greer says he can't get out of his mind. It happened right by his restaurant, Roasted and Raw, in downtown Oakland. Just because I'm a father myself, um, and just, just to imagine just taking your sons for a bike ride and not coming home. Is Last Thursday, 42-year-old Dmitry Pudilov and his two young children were riding bikes along 14th Street and crossing Jefferson Street when Dmitry was struck and killed by a hit-and-run driver. Dmitry and his two children are deaf. Him being deaf, I'm, uh, you know, I'm sure he could not have heard, obviously, the speed in which that vehicle was traveling. The children are also deaf. Um, and so they also were unaware of the traveling, uh, that vehicle and the, the high rate of speed that it was traveling. So here they were on this sidewalk, Dimitri and his two children, they were riding their bikes when they got to this crosswalk and went across. That's when the car came barreling through and the father was killed. Oakland police released this surveillance video, but they're looking for more. It happened two blocks from City Hall. Police said the hit and run driver took off toward 980. The person who was driving that car, that you have caused a tremendous hurt and harm to this family and to this community. That the most appropriate thing in this incident is to actually turn yourself in and allow us to do our follow-up investigation to better understand the circumstances. And another possible bit of information to jog anyone's memory in the downtown area that night. It was the Warriors night. They won the championship, uh, so we closed the touch early. And, um, you know, the city was excited. And I think what happened was uh, somebody was maybe coming from the bars and uh, ran the red light. The family has set up a GoFundMe page to help pay for the cost of funeral services. And the deaf community is sharing what happened on social media. In Oakland, Juliet Goodrich, KPIX 5.